Okay, let's look at crude real quick. We're going to go over a few things. Hey, Steve, good morning. All right, let's look at what we got here this morning. We've got um, a couple setups on the 5 Simrinko this morning off the trend filter, the trend box. Let's take a look. So here's our setups this morning. Let's take a look how this correlates to what we need to look at. These are the long side setups since around uh, 3 o'clock this morning based upon this chart right next to me. We've had several buy opportunities in the market. If you notice, we um, green trend box up. Here is your thin, thin uh, trend box indicating your speed in the market. So we look to buy retracements. Buy these retracements. And then we are over below the 10% like we want to be. Okay, so that's the type of sets we had. Now, I'm going to show you this uh, here on the far left. Gerald and I worked on this. Uh, back testing software is about ready to be released. Uh, we're going to try to get it to you before Christmas break. Um, Gerald's going to try his best because we worked on it yesterday and we got everything that we want to get done on it. Um, so everything's good to go. Uh, here's a process on it. We're going to try to get it over to you guys. This far left chart that shows the possible entries based upon your parameters. And that is going to come out to your mailboxes trying before Christmas break. So you got all Christmas break to, uh, to play with it. Once it's released and um, we will have a conference call uh, on that so you can know how you can uh, um, how you can enable it, how to turn it on, and all that stuff. So all you leases will be getting that uh, coming out in your mailboxes. Um, we're going to try before break um, in the month of December. So that being said, is that uh, here's our process for doing this. Um, once we get it out to everybody's uh, mailbox. What we're going to do is we are going to have the conference call, and then we're going to the next process is you are going to uh, there's there's tons of parameters on it. We'll go over in the conference call. You can really build your own indicator based upon my methodology. So as far as these trend boxes, you can ch uh, change the size of trend boxes, etc., and really do any testing on any time frame that you want to do. Now what that will allow you to do is back test the software as long as you want to do it you know, month, two months, a year, whatever you want to do on any type of market. From there, once you get comfortable with the software, if you want to take to the next level and go to the automated entry level, <clears throat> Gerald and I have already had this in play, then we could turn that on live for you. Um, as far as that goes, that is the next process. It's already ready to go. So what we're going to do first is get out to everybody, make sure you get comfortable with the software, and we are projecting in the next quarter uh, after everybody has tested the software and those that want to go ahead and do that we will be having an add-on to our suite for that if you would like to pursue that so we're going to do our due diligence first and make sure we get it out to everybody make sure you know how to run it and then you can test it on your own and if you want to take it to the next level we will have an add-on to the suite we're planning on the first quarter of next year on actually releasing that so um, that is the plan. Uh, we want to first get this in the software in your hands first, and uh, so you know how to work it. There's a lot of different combinations you can use to building your own strategy if you'd like. If you like the simple strategy, what you're doing in the room, uh, we can do that also. Um, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so um, we'll try to get out to you uh, guys and gals uh, here before Christmas break, the back testing software on this. Um, and um, I will go over that in about an hour conference call, all the different uh, parameters that you can turn on, turn off. And that's a beautiful thing about it is, is that you can really build your own uh, indicator to your, uh, to your trading style. So we'll definitely go over that with you coming up. So let's take a look at the markets going forward here this morning. Um, we want, what we want to do is these trend boxes are very important for a couple of reasons. We look at the last couple of days. Um, they're really unique because they get you they give you a perspective on overall trend direction and 
the great thing about that is is that once you find out trend direction we can buy and sell pullbacks or retracements so once you see a large box that comes in let's go to today once you see a large box meaning the width is large and it closes if you see a thin box that comes up and this is on any time frame I don't care what time frame you trade but once I see this once I see this come up what we want to do is we want to look for after a big thick thick width of bar comes in that's consolidation or reversal once we see a thin box close once this box closes and it's a thin box when I mean a thin box the width I mean typically it's three three no more than four bars one two three four on any time frame any given time frame you should be around three bars sometimes it's two bars if it's really fast but you're seeing a close typically three to four bars inside of a thin box what that tells me is that we have speed in the market this is speed speed we have speed so what we want to try to do then on speed is try to look for that first retracement so we're trying to get long at these lows right here this low we're trying to get long this low only if our oscillator down here at the same time is getting below 10 percent so if we're below 10 percent we know we're at a full retracement and we know that our our trend boxes are green because it's measuring a larger time frame so if these match up like this we want to try to get long when we get a positive market delta or a green reversal bar because I have I have it built in into the Rinko bars this level right here so I mean this um, these green and red bars so when these green and red bars come up they tell you that you got overall support and resistance now you see the symmetry dots act as natural support and natural resistance so there's two ways we can play the symmetry dots we can look for a uh, continuation with trend as support we can all look also look for break retest trades so you can actually do both you can look for break retest trades and also you can look for continuation of trend so the key is when you break through symmetry you're looking for a retracement to these levels we're trying to get in to this type of retracement after we have a trend box that is all green and with all with moving average trends so when you see this come up and you see the combination when they both follow through you have a match based upon overall trend the market so basically we're retracement traders with trend direction but these trend boxes give you an overall context of trend now if you noticed once again this morning it's the same type of setup what I want you to notice is the consistency of the thin box into the thick box that is very consistent with our overall setup if you notice these two boxes are thin this box that printed here is not as thick I mean it's thicker than these two boxes here so on this retracement that we got going now because we actually have a reversal up to the upside right here if you notice we have another possible scenario of a retracement long it's starting to pop up right now you know we're trying to pop up in the market but notice how these boxes are thinner than this box because this box is not less than four bars right so you know there's more speed in the market on these two retracements and you see more speed now are we popping out of this market yes we're popping up do we have considerable speed in this uh, trade possibly not so what we want to do is we want to uh, manage our trade with very small stops on the setup so if you get in the trade and you're trying to manage your setup just be aware that you're not a you don't have any thin bars indicating possible speed in the market because what happens in the speed in the market is you want to have good speed because when it retraces the market typically pops back up and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get good speed in the market for retracement for a snapback so that's really how you want to uh, trade this thing now we're, this is a five Simrenko a smaller time frame five Simrico but this is with overall large trend 
So obviously large trend is up. Large trend is up. It's been up since midnight last night. So since it closed it right here, it says trend is up. Here's your big consolidation box from yesterday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, all the way to yesterday's close. And you'll notice that that is a nice continuation to the upside. So when you see these big, large boxes like this, real big width is large, that indicates two things. That's either a reversal from a top or a bottom, or it's a continuation of trend. So what we want to try to do as traders, we want to try to find out when these boxes get nice and thick width, go into thin. Once we get a thin uh, a box, we know we have a possible what? Retracement on our hands. So once I see that pop up, it gives you the heads up right there. that we need to be good looking at what longs right so now what you're going to be getting is uh, the back testing software where it actually will fire these arrows for you fire the arrows so you'll see these arrows fire at these levels that you program into your software so you can actually overlap these automated arrows based upon your parameters of fire at these levels when it gets below you know 10 percent 10 percent and your boxes have been green at this level on this time frame so if you notice this time frame is the same time frame this is a five simrenko i got a five simrenko here based upon my algorithm that is popping these arrows up automatically and so you notice that you'll be getting this in your mailboxes so you can back test the software on any time frame you want and we'll be going over that um, here with you guys and gals we're going to get this to you uh, try by Christmas break and then um, like I said going forward once you test it and you like what you see we are going to have an add-on where you can have these automatically fire you in the market uh, and that's the next step of the process that we're going to be doing so, but the, first of all, we're going to get this out to you by Christmas break so you can correlate why this is a buy. Why did this arrow pop up here? You know, why are these arrows firing here? It's the same methodology I'm showing you right now. Why these are firing is based upon the trend box, these thin reversal bars, I mean these thin uh, boxes, and then also your full retracements. So you're going to have a combination of both, a combination of both. And then after you have tested the software and you're comfortable with automatically turning it on on any type of market, we will have an add-on for you guys and gals for members only to do that, okay? The key is thin boxes indicate retracements, though. I mean, we just had one on gold here. Let me show you here real quick. If you get thin boxes, see gold, the big thick box that came up right here, that's a possible reversal, and that was also a high-value area, but it's the thin boxes that indicate speed. Look how the thin box came in right here when we broke symmetry. This indicates speed in the market. Look at the speed we got going in the market right now in gold on the downside. Look at the difference in the size. Speed's coming in the market, speed. So when you see that first retracement right here, that indicates what? You can fire yourself in the market, and you just had right there you're at about 12 ticks 11 ticks right now and that trade set up on a live fill based upon the first retracement back up with speed coming in the market what happens is this is a natural reaction to the market because once you get speed coming in these trend boxes indicate when you have they're trying to mark the market down and mark the market up once they bring it down that natural pop back up is for a continuation so that's what we're trying to do on all time frames. Now, when you get this software right here in your hands before Christmas break here or over Christmas break, when you play with it, you're going to notice there's tons of combinations you can use because what, what I've done is I've actually added the trend box in. So let me show you. 
So what I've done is the trend box is actually built in into the right here into the system. So we have the trend box built in right there. So you can check it, uncheck it if you don't want to use a trend box. And you can literally program your own indicator based upon my methodology with you can use you can use all trend box trades if you want. Just click the trend box on. I got a 25 in there now, but you can use it to any time frame you want. But um, you can you can use all trend boxes with or without the moving average trend or you can have it on you can use the first cross trades you can use whatever stochastic you want you can even use a lower time frame without the trend box on looking at the nine sim and only taking three or five sim trades by doing a lower time frame trade you can do a lower time frame trade by looking at getting in a three sim on a retracement with a nine sim trend so you can do that um, there's just so many combinations you can use with this thing. And then obviously we got target one, target two. Your trailing stop loss can be adjusted. Stop uh, offset, entry offset, uh, your profit goal, daily stop, and so on. So we have limit orders and we have best available price. So you can literally, you can literally uh, customize whatever indicator that you want based upon your parameters or your trading methodology. Okay, so that's totally up to you how you want to do it, you know, based upon how you would like to get into the overall system. But you notice what it will do is it will get, I have it programmed here, how the room is taking trades. So you'll notice at all these levels are buy setups based upon full retracements with trend box with the retracement. Like this last one right here, I would not, this to me, I would not take this trade. That to me, you don't have to take the setup. Why? Because I didn't have a thin trend box on a retracement. Like I had a thicker trend box that closed. So this is a possible reversal, breaking through symmetry, retest, and then maybe coming down to the lows. So, but these are all valid trades. That's one, two, three, because trend is hard up. We had thin trend boxes with before the retracement for retracement. So that's something you can do. You know, it's something that's available for you at your disposal, and um, you're good to go.